our internet, we're in Akaroa. If not for a little quirk of history, Akaroa would be just another little seaside town on Banks Peninsula. But, as anyone in Canterbury will tell you, Akaroa is famously where the French tried and failed to colonise New Zealand. There were actually many French people among the early European explorers and whalers who came to Aotearoa. One of them, a whaling captain called Jean-Francois Langlois, decided to establish a settlement in Akaroa. So in 1838, he purchased some land from local Maori. Yeah, purchased. The following year, a French Navy ship and a passenger ship carrying 59 immigrants set out from Paris for the new colony. However, the British government had also decided to colonise the country. And in February 1840, William Hobson signed the Treaty of Waitangi and claimed British sovereignty over New Zealand. So when the French arrived in July 1840, they were a bit too late. However, they were allowed to settle in Akaroa, with the British Navy keeping a bit of an eye on them. The British flag was flying over Akaroa when the settlers arrived, but the town was allowed to live under French law until 1845, when whaling began to decline and the French Navy left. Most of the settlers stayed on, and eventually merged into the rest of the British society. But echoes of that early French settlement remain in street names, and and a few place names like French Farm and Doucheville. And of course, in a lot of tourist shops and restaurants who like to play off the French heritage. But nowadays, mostly Akaroa is known for its beautiful harbour and for being a nice place to escape from the city for a while. I hope you've enjoyed the visit to Akaroa. We have done a few big walks, so I'll show you those in other videos. But for now, don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment, and I will see you next time. Ka kite anō, internet.